All right, here's just an update on my aquaponic systems. I've got the uh, ebb and flow or the fill and drain. I've showed many videos on it, how I constructed it and how it works. Um, this is a deep water culture bed. And my last video, I started to, to build this just a uh, day before yesterday. Um, all the woodwork, I uh, did 12 foot long pieces, a little bit less work as far as cutting and whatnot. And I uh, just had to cut the ends and as far as the, the two by four frame at the bottom. Uh, it's a very similar system. It works identical. This will be the sump tank down here and that's where the water returns to. Um, the water gets pumped up out of the sump tank into the fish tank. Uh, there's no fish yet. I'll probably let this system run through about a week or so to get all the uh, all the water levels correct so that I'm not killing any fish I don't need to. Uh, it works very, very similar. The water is going to come in. Uh, this clear tube is letting the water in from the sump from a little uh, aquarium pump or a fish pond pump. And it puts the water in kind of at an angle, a little, little kind of a, a swirl type uh, type water flow. Um, it's got this black line next to it, and all that is is to where if the pump pumps too much water and it gets too full, you can see it's got little holes. I just it's just a PVC cap with uh, holes I drilled in it. Nothing too fancy. Uh, bulkhead fitting, and it flows back down into the sump just in case the uh, for whatever reason the, the fish tank gets too full we don't want to lose the water out of the side and we don't want to lose our fish flowing out of the side either so there will be a netting across the top of this um, very similar to which i've got this one open right now let me pull it back here it'll have a, a netting like this on it to keep any of the, the leaves or debris or anything like that from getting into the fish tank so then we've got where our water flows out of our fish tank we've got some of the uh window screen just zip tied on there just just so the uh the fish food nor fish which i think the holes are too small for the fish to go through but uh fish food maybe and uh, so that's just kind of a screen to keep everything in the fish tank and then from there like i say we have another bulkhead fitting and I did some little Picasso plumbing, I guess, if you will, in order to be able to adjust where it is I was wanting to put the water. Um, yesterday I'd put on, or I'm sorry, in the liner. This, uh, this liner was rather expensive. It is actually the, the water shielding they use in, in showers. So it's a 40 mil. It's really thick. I don't know if you can see down here very well, but it's very thick. It's a rubber, heavy, heavy duty is, I believe a little over $7 per linear foot. And this is 12 foot long. So I ended up getting 15 foot of it so that I had enough to hang over each end. I went through and attached it. I'm not sure if you can see with the sun with a whole bunch of like little nails just to get everything square, everything kind of straight like I liked it. And uh, I'll end up putting those uh, the rest of the way in. I did cover the top with a one by four. I just, I, there's no real need for it. I just thought it looked better. And uh, you know, if you're out here in the Texas heat and you have a little tasty beverage, you'll be able to have a, a place to set it. Um, the main thing about the aquaponic system is for one, you're gonna have fish, which is aquaculture, and then hydroponics, which is soil is growing um, when it comes to the root system in the hydroponic system you've got to you got to have oxygen going to the roots if this was just full of water and there was no oxygen being pumped in no no air bubblers or air stones you would basically drown the plants they have to have oxygen you see these little bubbles yeah they're coming out pretty good but it's not just the big bubbles that you see, it's also tiny, tiny little micro bubbles, which um, will actually fill that water and it'll be a very oxygen enriched water. So it's what they called uh, dissolved oxygen. It'll actually be such a small bubble that you won't really see it, but the, uh, the, the plants, they, uh, they like to use it. 
Um, on this end, like I said, the water is going to come in the far end down there next to the fish tank. It's going to flow the full length. I put a, another bulkhead fitting in here. This is a three quarter inch bulkhead fitting. In hindsight, I probably should have used something a little bit bigger, maybe a one inch or maybe even an inch and a half. But uh, I was kind of excited about this build and getting it going. And I can always come back and, um, and make that, that bigger. It would just be the bulkhead fitting. I would need to open up this, this hole a little bit. And then the PVC that I run from here down and then the full length would be a larger size PVC and that would just allow for more water flow. This is kind of an experiment. We'll have to see how, how well it does and if, if it's even needed or necessary for me to, to change that. It may do just fine. But this is a deep water culture bed. I will have styrofoam rafts. The styrofoam rafts will, will, will come across this way. There'll be two inch holes those two inch holes will allow my plants to grow. Sorry about the mess, I've got stuff everywhere. These are grow grips. And basically the two inch hole that'll be in the styrofoam float, you'll open this up, you'll put your plant in and then you'll shove this down in that hole and it's made and designed for um, two inch holes. So that kind of gives you a picture of right there, like it says for two inch holes. Uh, it can be used for organic growing, so everything's organic. I have no glue or or any kind of additives or anything. About the only thing that's maybe not 100% organic is the, the fish food, which I will at, at some point go to an organic fish food. Um, so this is basically the system. And later on this evening, I'll do a, another video once I get my styrofoam floats in. And um, do you have any questions, comments, or is I'm, if I'm doing something wrong, you know, I, I like any kind of feedback. So visit me at uh, CNS Organics. Please subscribe and have a good day.